The Cuneo was one of Keith McMillan's earliest MIDI controllers, and it's one of the most expressive. If you look at our helper application here, you can see we can track X and Y movements, pressure, and even velocity, depending on how hard we hit the pads, which makes it a great controller for MPE. If you look in Ableton, we're going to show you how to use the wavetable synth to create a very expressive drum rack. So to start out, let's uh, look in the wavetable percussive presets, and let's just grab throbbing kick. Let's see, where is that? Now you can see, and our horizontal slider here, by the way, controls the amount of pitch bend. And so you can see we've, we've already got pitch mapped. Now we can make this a little more useful. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the amp envelope and I'm going to set it to none instead of trigger. And then I'm going to raise the sustain amount. Give it a little more release. Great. As you can see, we've already got one dimension of control, but let's now go into the MPE mapping and let's add slide and easiest place to put it might be with the filter. Let's add a little more sustain. Great. Gives you a very expressive kick sound there. Let's add a snare. Uh, let's look at Tronic snare. And drop that right in the snare spot. You can already hear how the, the amount of pitch bend gives you a lot of chances to, to play expressively. Let's put a filter on that snare as well. So we'll just map the slide to filter frequency one. Let's uh, open up its filter a little. We'll set it from trigger to none. Already, lots of different ways to play this single sample, this single instrument, just by hitting the pad in different places. Let's add a hi-hat. We've got specific hi-hat here, so let's drop one of those here. Adjust its envelope again. And let's see what we can do with MPE there. Um, We've got some filter positions, but let's let's try the the wavetable position. And we can raise the default position. Might do that the other way around. You can add or subtract the value to the, the dimension that you're mapping it to. So you can see. Right now we're adding it. Let's open up that envelope a little. Let's loosen it up a bit. Maybe add a little more resonance. In fact, let's try a dirtier filter here. Ooh. You can tighten down that filter a little now. Or the tighten up the amp envelope. And maybe I'll change that slide position in reverse again. Change the wavetable position. 
we can add some slide to the filter. There, and that gives us that gives us a better way to modulate that filter along the y-axis. Let's uh, add a second hi-hat, something a little more open. And we can grab that same sound here, and now let's open up the envelope. And let's transpose it down a little. Now let's put some tom sounds in here. What does tom yum sound like? Oh, that's good. Let's drop that here. And you don't have to get crazy and original with every single expression. There's different ways to map. Filter is always a great option. Let's take that same tom, pitch it down in a different slot. And those pitch bends at different locations, you know, dirtier, cleaner, up or down, that gives you just another way to really make your performance unique and varied. One more thing, uh, we don't have to limit ourselves just to these percussive sounds. We can also use, uh, you know, almost any instrument here. Let's see what's in the uh, effects rack here. Um, there's, uh, what's this kick? Ooh. So here's a, a more melodic sound that we can drop in here. And one thing I like to do with sounds like this is to add some LFO in there. Uh, an easy way to do that. First, let's see what the LFO shape is like. Okay, LFO 1 looks pretty good. Let's, uh, let's map slide to LFO amount here. And then let's in the matrix map the LFO 1 to, oh, let's, let's map it to the amplifier. So. And let's make it a little faster. And that gives us another expression there. And let's put a little more filter. Oh yeah. So as you can see, the Cuneo gives you a great way to get into live, play with the drum rack, create different and unconventional drum sounds, modulate, perform them in unique and inspiring ways. Check out our other videos. We will show you how to use more standard percussion sounds, get deeper into MPE, and learn more about mapping in Ableton Live. Thanks so much.